the lowest structure and the Vesper geometry for the tetraiodide ion. Let's start with the number of valence electrons. These are both halogens, so they come in with seven valence electrons. There's five of them. Don't forget to add the extra electron that makes it an ion. And we have a total of 36 valence electrons to work with. Iodine is less electronegative, so we're going to put that in the center. And we'll surround it with the four chlorines. Next, let's create a bonding pair to connect the terminal atoms to the central atom. And each of those bonding pairs has two valence electrons, and that's going to take us down to 28 valence electrons. Next, let's get the terminal atoms and octet. Each of the chlorines already has two from the bonding pair, so they would each like six more to get the octet. That's going to use up 24 more electrons, and we're down to four. Let's put the remaining four on the central iodine. And then we can put brackets around these. Put the negative there for the charge on that polyatomic ion. Finally, let's take a look at the VSEPR geometry. The central atom is iodine. It has one, two, three, four, five, six areas of electron density. Those six effective pairs want maximum separation to minimize their repulsion for each other. So when you have six areas that want to get away from each other, then that parent geometry is going to become octahedral. It's like two square pyramids that share the same base, inverted. On each other. Um, in any case, that's not the molecular geometry because we have two lone pairs. Not all of those uh, areas are bonded to other atoms. So when you have two lone pairs, the molecular geometry, that's what we care about, is square planar. So uh, let's draw that one more time here using the line dash wedge. This chlorine is coming out in front of the screen. And I'm not drawing the valence electrons on these chlorines. I'm just showing you, emphasizing the bond angles here. And so this is a square shape all on the same plane. I do need to draw the lone pairs though. Lone pairs are 180 from each other.